Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Jim Howard, and this is your latest WITN first alert forecast on this Monday, August 19th. Quick check of the tropics going back to quiet as Ernesto races out to sea. Here we are. Here's Ernesto up here. Uh, did make a landfall in Bermuda as a Cat 1 hurricane now racing away. And as it does so, uh, the surf will start coming down along the east coast. Still a hurricane uh, early Monday morning. Winds around 80. But watch how quickly this thing's headed out to sea, staying off the coast. Adios, Ernesto. Thank you for leaving us alone. Uh, we are very grateful. And nothing else brewing tropics wise. All right, all quiet out there right now. Coastal flood advisory is still hanging on through 10 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, one to two above normal, the waves along the sea levels along the coast. So maybe a little bit of overwash, but that should be it. Once that expires, 10 a.m., uh, getting better and better. All right, the beaches still got a high rip risk up and down the coast, but this will trend down as well through the week. Uh, but today still high. Waves at about four feet out there, give or take southwest 10 to 15 on those winds. Uh, air temp mid to upper 80s that surf around 80, very nice degrees. And the tides, we've got a high tide around uh, 7 ish, say a.m., uh, 1 30 p.m. Uh, for the next low. All right, scattered p.m. storms today. Got a little action yesterday. We'll get a little more today. And then we've got some great weather coming in here, folks. A little taste of autumn headed our way. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna love this eight day. Uh, satellite radar, this was yesterday, storms popping up. A few big ones back west of I-95. They weakened as they got into our backyards. Dropped about a quarter of an inch of rain, uh, give or take. Some of you missed it all together. Some of you hit an inch here or there. Uh, this morning, this is back at 4, uh, 5 a.m. Still a little rain hanging on down on the coast, but generally should be quiet through the morning hours and as we get into the afternoon. We'll pop a little action again. Isolated strong storm later today. There's the rain yesterday uh, through the overnight yesterday afternoon. And again, there were pockets of an inch plus back here well to the west through I-95. A couple of bigger storms back here. Generally, as they roll through most of our backyards, and we don't need a lot of rain. It's been so wet from Debbie. Uh, generally about a quarter of an inch, give or take. That did it last night. Done deal for a while. There's a few of those storm reports back to the west. Again, nothing much over us, but a little action to the west. All right, so later today, here's lunchtime, all quiet, mid 80s. We'll get near 90 this afternoon. Pop some more action. This is cold front coming in late today, tonight. So as it works its way into the area, some storms fire ahead of that front. Generally dinner time or quitting time to about midnight. And you can see by midnight, 1 a.m., done deal. Front's moving through, air starts drying out. Last of the raindrops gets out of here and not much rain coming back for a while. By tomorrow morning, check out some low 60s on this map. Those may translate to 50s by sunrise Wednesday morning, folks. I do think we'll have 50s when the sun comes up Wednesday. Good stuff. Air temps out the door this morning. It's about 70 out there. Not much wind. That wind will come in from the west today. Remember that front I showed you now. Once tonight, there's 4 p.m. today. Wind starts turning to the north tonight behind the front. That's the good stuff. Tomorrow, the sticks around all week. That north wind, drier air, lower humidity, feeling good. 89, so near 90 today, high near 80 tomorrow. Feels like close to 100 today. Feels like the low 80s to mid 80s tomorrow. What a difference we've got coming our way. Breaking the heat, the humidity, and again, almost autumn-esque for a few days, folks. Good stuff. There's the big map, high pressure off the coast, high pressure to the west. Between the two, cold front, there it is this afternoon, evening coming on through and there's the good stuff coming in behind the front. Once the front clears the coast tomorrow morning, it'll stay down there and this high pressure looks like it'll hang around all week back here to our west. That means we keep this north flow pretty much all week long. Wednesday looks beautiful. The rain to the south down here, the bulk of the data says it stays down there through the end of the week. I'm not putting any rain on the eight day. Good stuff, folks. Uh, that hot air back to the west kind of hanging back there all week long. So the best weather in the nation this week right here. Near 90 today. Again, heat index near 100. A few storms late day. Early taste of autumn. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Highs near 80. Maybe upper 70s for highs on Wednesday. Look at the lows. Uh, down into the 50s. We're going to go 58 Wednesday night. Maybe a few mid 50s well inland. The weekend humidity starts to creep back in. No rain there though. Mid 80s. Great weather for the Watermelon Festival. Friday now and into the weekend. Monday, 87, creeping back closer to 90, so we head into next week.